Greetings all, this is Big Daddy P, coming to you from the Pelliverse. Today we're starting a new series, yet another one, I got a couple of them now. Uh, we uh, are playing, this is Shopkeep, this is a early access on Steam right now, and it looked like something uh, that I might like. It's kind of like a, I don't know, a, a reversal of adventuring games. Um, you are actually the storekeeper and adventurers come in and buy your stuff from you. So let's get started. Okay, first thing I need to do is set up some tables here. And one thing, I've played this a little bit in, over the past few days, so i got an idea as to how this kind of works. And what I've found is you want to kind of keep the stuff towards the back because people will try and steal your stuff and this will give you actually quite a bit of time to actually do something about it if they steal your stuff. So, alright, to get started I'm gonna order up four health potions and place four, four tables. So, after we order we just kind of wait for it to show up. Um, kind of give you a little bit of a tour here. It's just kind of one room you can build out this direction you can build out that direction. You can come out here and there's some area out there eventually you can open up. You have stuff in your chest and your inventory. Some stuff that people are looking for. So right now we can only do uh, sell to warriors. You have to kind of upgrade to get to the other as I'll show you right here. So this is, this is your ordering. And if we go to skills Okay, it looks like our stuff has shown up. Um, we can actually purchase different things. You can see I actually purchased this one um, uh, as I was playing with a different game. You can see I'm already level 4. So I purchased that one. But you can also purchase here. You go. See, you can see you can uh, bring in mages, you can bring in rogues, you can bring in druids. You know, you can get discounts, things like that. And there's all kinds of different things you can you can do here. I've got a few things. Got a cauldron and talking to customers. That's pretty much it for that. All right, so let's take a look and see. Let's get our stuff. So you can see we're holding it in our hands. So what we do is you right click to place, and you can see it kind of shows you. Okay, and that's pretty much it. We're down to four gold. So that's pretty much it. So you walk over to the door, you press E, and it opens up. Now one thing I did notice after a little bit is these garbage cans. If you hit F periodically, sometimes you'll find stuff in them. So you kind of got to run around because you don't want to leave your shop open too too long without you being there because they can steal stuff and then, you know, they'll be gone before you get back. Oh, that was a dizzying. Okay, so you kind of run around and see if you can find little garbage cans and see if you can pick up some stuff. Most of the stuff you'll pick up from here is going to be stuff you really can't use right now. It's a little bit higher grade that people don't really want to buy. They want to buy the basic stuff right now. Yeah, see, so like that. Which is good stuff, but but not something you're going to use right away. So you kind of got to hang out and figure it out. But early in the morning is generally a good time to do this because it's a little slower. See, so yeah, I can grab a couple things here. It's a little bit slower. And these will fill up throughout the day, so, you know, if you got time to go a little bit later in the day, you can. But that's pretty much all of them, so we'll head back over to our shop. And, oh, you see, we are actually selling some stuff right now, so that's a good thing. We're making a little bit of money. I totally did not... I don't think I put anything... Uh, maybe it saved it from the last time where I do 15%. I'll have to take a look next time. You can't do any of that stuff, unfortunately. Um until your end of the day so when the when your clothes when your shops closed up then you can do all that other stuff so people walked in you can see they're leaving a mess as they come in get out your broom and sweep it up it just helps it look nice and customers like a nice clean shop so you just keep it it also keeps you busy <laughs> so just kind of hang out and wait we only got two things so 
just a matter of waiting right now. If you look at these, you can actually see oh, by the E. They get worn out, so you gotta kinda fix them. So you can do all kinds of stuff while you're sitting there waiting. And he bought that one. So now I have 44. So what I can do is I can actually order four more of these and place an order. And that I can do, and then we wait. And uh oh, somebody else buy one? Oh, apparently. That makes sense because I didn't mark them up, which is really annoying. But that's okay. We will carry on. Won't make any money in today, but we will carry on. So, since we really don't have anything, there's absolutely no reason for us to be here. So what we can do is we can kind of take a look and see if any of these garbage cans have anything again. So kind of... Oh, we got our order ready. Okay. Um, can, you can also kind of keep an eye on what they're saying. I don't know if you noticed the one guy said he was looking for a belt. So if you get a chance to, you know, get a belt, you can you can actually do that. And that'll help it out quite a bit. They'll actually come in and asking for stuff. And they'll pick it up and they'll get all happy. And they'll come back and buy other stuff. So, yeah, but I'm really not going to make a whole lot of money. So one thing I, if, if you do make mistakes like that, one thing I did notice is if you click on that, you save the shop, and then you quit, and then you go back into it. Once you get back into it, it's going to close your shop up. So, I, you know, I made a mistake. There's no reason for me to sit there and sell things for the exact same price that I'm buying them for. It's just a waste of time. I mean, it's great that people want to buy the stuff, but it's not going to do me any good. I'm a shop owner. I want to make money. So we'll kind of wait. I don't know what the deal is with this, you know, the really high, but okay. So as you can see, it's closed up. Oh, it started it over. I thought it saved. All right, anyway. So I guess we'll do this again or something. Kind of confused by that, but that's okay. One, two, oops, three, a little crooked, but that's okay. Four, a little bit one, a little here, same thing as we did before. Oh, holy boring. Okay, now, now we can do what? One, two, three, four, nope. Oh, let's see. I think I have to get the stuff and then look at it. Let's see. Do I have any points? I got 35 points that I can spend. So, no, I can't get that. What is this? Square 10% more on every sold item in the shop. If I can get that, that's, that's good. I like that. I can get that twice. All right. So, that's cool. So, I have 15 now. I get 15, no, 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 no. Anything for, ooh, what's this? Moral guide makes the thieves steal less. 150, let's do that one, yes. So this is basically just experience. When you get experience, you get, you know, you, you can actually buy different things. So, okay, so we have this, let's pick this up. It's gonna be the same thing as before. So, sorry about that. All right, now this will help us to fix the go to one and okay. So here we go. What I can do is I can increase or I can decrease. If you look down in the lower right hand corner. So what I found works really well is we do about 15%. So we go to about 150. Okay. And then we place them on there and you'll notice that each one of them is now that price. So, now that we actually are good to go, we will go around and do this again. All right. Deja vu. I feel like I've done this already. Oh, wait. That's because I have. Oh, what's that? I don't even know what that is. Huh. Oh, that, that's a belt. I haven't seen one of those recently. Also, each thing has kind of its own place that you can put it. I mean, like, there's tables for stuff. 
and there's uh, you know there's racks for armor and there's racks for helmets and all kinds of crazy stuff like that so you can't just slap stuff on the pedestals all the time you gotta actually use the other stuff too which is fine it makes it a little more in depth so okay so this isn't gonna do me any good here because I can't put it on there so we'll put it in here and yeah I guess it started a whole new game which is really bizarre because I would have swore I said save but that's okay what are you gonna do all right so we just kind of wait and we'll wind up ordering some stuff in a second here once we did I miss anything I'll just kind of roam around for a little while and see what see what I can see So let me know what you think about this. I think this is really fun. It, hopefully it's not too boring. I mean, I do think that it's uh, a really good time to play. It's very addicting because you're constantly trying to get more and better stuff. And once it starts to get, once you start to get to a point where there's a lot of people coming in, then you're trying to keep up with, trying to keep up with them. That's interesting. Another thing I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it must be a robe. Um, you're trying to keep up with all the stuff, and you're trying to make sure that nobody's stealing your stuff, and yeah. So I haven't made any money yet. I don't know if that means that nobody's been there, or if that means that somebody stole stuff. Nope. Okay, there's one. We'll throw that in there. And come back out here. Maybe do some sweeping. You sloppy, sloppy, sloppy folk. And sometimes, if they really don't like your prices, and they're not going to steal it, what they can do is they'll come over here, and they'll look at it, and they'll chuck it in the air, and they'll say something derogatory, and take off. You know, call you a peasant or something like that. And so that's definitely unique. You get treated like dirt. But that's okay. Just lowly shopkeepers, right? Also, just statistics that I found, which is actually fun. So you're looking for leather boots. Okay, understandable. We we'll definitely can get into something like that. Let's see what we got here. If we go to Q, how much are boots? 44? I can't afford that. So we'll just order up, order up four more of these. It's kind of your staple in the beginning. You know, really not a whole lot going on. This is, isn't going to be super exciting, but I'm not planning on... Uh, you know, just doing this uh, in videos. I'm planning on, you know, building it up a little bit off off air and kind of showing you guys some of the stuff that I that I found. So, okay, so it's morning. We're still hanging out here. Okay. Okay, order's ready. Come in here and we can fill up. We actually bought more than we needed, so we can actually keep going. Put that there, and then these can go back here. And then we can come back out here. We can say, come buy my stuff. You can actually talk to the people, but you can only sell it for the price that you bought it for, which is just really ridiculous. But there's also perks and stuff that you can get that you can sell. Sell it for more than that, so. No garbage. Do, 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 do. You'd think after doing this a couple times I would know where the garbage cans are, but I don't. Kind of gooberish that way, I guess. So, oh, see, I totally missed the one that's over here. Yep, nothing there. Since there's nothing for me to do, I'll just walk around. A little something there, but nothing good. Just keeping everything clean, you know, cleaning up the garbage, being a garbage man as well as that, so. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come buy my stuff! My state is shopkeep. So we can take a look at what this is here. So, it's a jawbone belt. Sold for 342. But yeah, I'm sure I need something 
special for that, like a table or some sort of rack. I don't exactly know what I need for that, but we can see. So, well, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to bore you guys any longer, so I'm just going to uh, finish the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, a little you saw. That's basically what it is for right now. Um, like I said, I'm going to do some stuff off, off uh, camera that will help get it to be a little more busy and be a little more interesting, but maybe find out how to do stuff like that. But hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm actually having a great time with it. I'm going to put out several more videos. Uh, shoot me a like if you uh, enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, live well and game hard. Big Daddy P, out.